In this guide, I will be showing you how to unlock the final secret for Vault 4 in the quest for Vil for the game Fallout 4. This is a particularly difficult quest to pull off because there are a lot of hidden things to find and there's no explicit quest with instructions to follow, so you have to use your intuition or just follow this guide. I'll walk you through it. First things first, we're here in the town of Fourville, outside of Vault 4, and we have been waiting for a while for the Hustings quest to start, because when the Hustings quest starts, the vault will open. Uh, unfortunately, my game has bugged a bit, and the Hustings has not started for several months, so we will have to use a console command to fix that. We will type in help, VLTO4, space 4, and that will show us a bunch of quests for Vault 4, Look for the one that's the Hustings. So there it is, the Hustings. VLTO4 MQ06. It will pull up the ID for the quest that you need right here. And for me, it is 1A07D924. Show quest stages 1A07D924. And it has not actually started at all. So we will set stage for that and we will set it to 5. So set stage, and for me it's 1A07D924, 5. That activates the quest, we heard that sound cue. Take a seat at the Hustings is now in our quest log, so we will follow that and uh, take a seat in the town hall, I believe. So here we are, we are ready for the Hustings. We'll sit here, wait for everyone to take their spot. Now that I've sat down, I can't get back up. But that's fine, I'll just wait for an hour and then hopefully everyone will be in their spot. Hello everyone, welcome to the final- Excellent, it's working now. So we will let Thank this scene play out I'm and then we will get access to Vault 4 once it's over. So here is the vault and right here by the entrance is a public terminal you can access. So you can learn about Vault 4, but it doesn't give you very many details. It's pretty basic, bare bones, the elevator pitch. You can try to modify the AI but you do not have permission to do that. If you try to ask the overseer to give you permission to access the terminal, he will reject your request and you cannot get access through him. Any unauthorized tampering with the public AI terminals is strictly forbidden. So we'll have to do this ourselves. From the terminal at the entrance of the vault, you go down the stairs, take a right into the hallway, and then take a left, and you'll arrive at Willie's workshop. And there you will find the old overseer's terminal. Unfortunately, that requires a key. Talk to Willie and he will give you access to mess around with that. Well, hi, a stranger. He will give you access to the terminal. So punch that in. Run system diagnostic. File is corrupted, gotta repair it. Very well, we'll use the science to repair corrupted files. I'm not sure if it's possible to fail that skill check. If that is indeed the case, you may need to put a few more points into your science skill under intelligence and there you have access to the old overseers terminal in the terminal you will notice that a few users are already authorized but they are all dead so we will need to authorize a new user by generating a new campbell access code and that's going to be a bit of a process now we will head to the research lab which is to the left of the entrance we'll see there's another terminal in here and dr stennett we can use the terminal and learn about Campbell class androids, but we see that Campbell class androids are at an undisclosed location. The information is not on this terminal, so we will not be able to get the code just yet. But we can talk to Dr. Stennett and get an android up and running. The iAndroid quest. And for me, it is at Fort Hagen. I believe that is the same every single time. So we will go there and bring the android program back. Now we will load holotape, android data program, activate the android. Android, designation, Campbell-R. And now he's functioning properly, gave him a new nickname, Sparky, but he has very basic programming. The only thing he can really do for you is send you on nonsense radiant quests, which you can honestly ignore. So at the entrance of the vault, during the working hours, is Susan Janeway. Talk to her and she will give you a quest to go retrieve some holotapes. She'll give you Armstrong Family Holotape 1, and the quest markers for the next few holotapes will be added to your inventory. So, 
Collect the next one from Bunker Hill. Buy the second hollow tape from the vendor here, or steal it from her shelf, but we're not thieves, are we? No, no, no. The next hollow tape is not too far away from Swan's Pond, or Vault 114. We'll go forward and around the building. And down here is a Prost Bar, I believe. Yes, Prost Bar. And right there is hollow tape number five. One of my holotapes seems to have spawned all the way out in Nuka World, and I don't feel like going to Nuka World to go get it. So I may use console commands to add it to my inventory. But once you have all four holotapes, you will go to the National Guard training yard. Going through the training yard, into the barracks, killing the ghouls along the way. It's over here. Got the uh, holotape number four right there. And we're going to go into the armory over here. Go a little further, clear this place out, and the National Guard bunker. Go to this door. All right, here we go. We'll open up the security gate, lockpick that, and access the computer. Input the access code. I don't have the access code, because I did not get that holotape that spawned in Nuka World. One moment, please. Let me just console command it. Armstrong Family Holotape 4 is what I'm missing, so player dot... There we go, adding the Armstrong Family Holotape 04. Now I have all five of them. Still not enough. That still wasn't enough to access the terminal, so I need to progress the quest as well, I believe. So, welcome to the family. Hopefully you don't have to deal with this step. I'm not sure why it sent my holotape to Nuka World, but uh, we'll just go ahead and fast forward the quest. Help Vault 4 for Quest. And now we'll find Welcome to the Family. There we are, Welcome to the Family. So, SQS 1A07-1734. So those are the stages, it's currently at 5. We'll set it to set stage that Quest 10. Report your progress to Sue Janeway or gain access to the National Guard bunker. There we go. And now hopefully I'll be able to access it with the access code. Excellent. We now have access to the bunker. And we'll ride the elevator. Watch out for the turrets here. Use the terminal to open the door. We've got hollow tape number six. We'll take that, listen to that. But most importantly, we'll use the terminal. We'll use the military access codes on the terminal. And we'll open the door to find Sentinel Site Campbell Backup Command Access Codes. We'll need to upgrade that android to a Campbell class android. And to do that, we need to do a quest for Malcolm in Fourville's museum up there. You may have already visited Malcolm and done his quest to retrieve an item for his museum. I'm not sure if that's required or not, but regardless, you must talk to Malcolm, and he will send you out to get military folders. He wants you to bring back military folders. There's bound to be some revealing information in them. And so you can go ahead and keep an eye out for military folders while you're doing all the other quests for the residents of Fourville and Vault 4, because there is a lot of quests. And I'm sure you'll keep an eye out for military folders. Um, or you can console command them in like I'm going to because I've already done this quest. Help. Military uh, for misc player dot add item one a o eight four d thirty three. Here's your military folders. Excellent. Once you've turned in ten folders, he'll let you know that he's finding some interesting military code words and to bring back a few more. I found it, Sentinel Site Campbell. It's out in the glowing sea. I think it might have something to do with the vault too. And now we have access to Sentinel Site Campbell out here in the glowing sea, bottom left corner of the map. Again, no quest markers, no waypoints. So uh, get some Radaway, Radex, and any, any power armor you want and start heading out to Sentinel Site Campbell. And here it is, out here in the middle of nowhere. Clear some debris away, and we'll have access to the secret military site. Here we are, take the elevator down and kill all the ghouls in the area, because we're going to get swarmed. Head down into the bloody water. Yeah, this place is not joke around. 
Remove the grate cover and start heading up to scaffolding. Now we need to enter this door right here. Hello, hello. And there is the small guns bobblehead. And General Chase's password. Keep ascending. A bunch of dead synths right here. And one lone solitary synth. Hello. This hostile. You have the office key for General Chase. So now we have his office key and his terminal password. Use the key here and the password on the computer. And you can learn about all this stuff. And there is a tape. We definitely want to eject the hollow tape. So hit R to do that if you're using the keyboard. And now it's been added to your inventory. And now we can head back to Vault 4 and uh, use it on the Android. And now that we're back at Vault 4, we'll head into the lab here. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Load hollow tape. And instead of the Android data program, this time we'll use the Campbell class Android command tape. Upload additional command functionality. Code is beta 77 Tempest. And now we have new dialogue with the Android. Authorization code acknowledged. Generating camp.ll code. Now we will head to Willie's workshop and use that code he just gave us. So, old overseer's terminal. We have a new option. Input the access code. We are now authorized to access system files. And now we can grant user administration status. We now have access from any public terminal to modify the AI. There are a few public terminals dotted around, but the one I'm always familiar with is right outside the front door, right here. Modify the AI and enable mainframe access. But we have insufficient power and the AI is a prototype build. So we'll need to get some power and upgrade the AI. As you can see, I already have the Watts source code. I will show you how I got it right now. So we will go talk to the barber on the second floor of the residences, which I believe, there we are, the barber shop. Talk to Bobby Wicked, and he will give you the quest, Wicked Business. He wants you to rendezvous with Duke, so we will go do that. You'll see it is located right here near Harrywood Residences, right, not, right outside the combat zone. Now, I'm not sure if Wicked Business has a prerequisite quest to get it to start, but if you are having trouble starting this quest, I know it's also tied into the character Mike the Weapons Vendor outside in the town of Fourville. So if Bobby Wicked is not giving you his quest, I would recommend talking to Mike out in Fourville, do a few of his Radiant quests, and then do his big quest to raid the Diamond City Strong Room, and hopefully that will allow you to do Bobby Wicked's quest. Again, I'm not sure if this is a hard requirement or not, but if you are having issues, that is where I would recommend you start first. Do Mike's quests. I believe we actually need to get into Parawood Residences, so go up the apartment sign right here and enter the door. Down here there's an elevator, we'll ascend that. Drop down to this floor, open Duke's apartment. We'll see that nobody is in here, but we can access a few things that he owns. A note for digits. This note says the key to the safe is in the toilet. So we'll go to the toilet over here, grab the key, and now we can open the safe where we find Duke's note. In the note, Duke says that he's downloading some computer code from a terminal in one of the Watts factories, and the location is now added to your map. So we'll head there. But don't forget to pick up Duke's journal on the table. That's very important as well. There we go. That has the Watts factory key. We will definitely be needing that. Now we travel to the Watts electronics facility to rendezvous with Duke. That is located the northeast of the Warwick homestead, all the way out near Mercer's safe house in Spectacle Island. But first we've got to get out of here, so carefully make your way down a few floors so we can get outside. Oh, I went down to one too many floors. We'll just have to take the elevator back up to the fifth floor and drop back down again. You gotta remember to stop one floor before you hit the bottom. So this floor right here with a guy whose arm is stuck in a vending machine. 
Now we can leave. Following the waypoint will take you to the sunken wasp factory out here in the middle of the water. You'll need to do some underwater swimming. So if you have the Aqua Boy perk that allows you to breathe underwater, that would be great. Otherwise, we'll have to move quickly. You'll see down there, there is the entryway, an exposed pipe, it's been damaged. So in we go. And from the entrance, we'll go forward. There's some air up there, but we can go down. And forward, forward. More air up there, but we'll keep going forward, forward. And now we're gonna go up through this hole right here. And we'll fight all the ghouls in the area. There's a body of a man over here called Nails. He has the fuse box key. We'll take that, we might need that. A pump management terminal, that, there we go. Unlock this with the fuse box key. Circuit breaker will raise the water, which will allow us to ride the rising water into this hole right here. Ugh. After getting out of that flooded room, you will find a group of mercenaries over here. We're all about to be attacked by ghouls, so we will have to fend them off. I got it, boss. All right. Let's get inside and seal that door. By the way, if you're not in this room when she seals the door, you will fail the quest, so be on this side of the door when she closes it. I've learned that the hard way. Closing the door now. And now we can enter the executive area. In this executive area, there's a quick exit room. Go in here. There's a terminal, the executive terminal. We'll use that to download source code. Now we have the code downloaded, the Watts source code, which is what we came here for. And we'll power the elevator to escape. If you fall down in this hole, you will have to go through the executive area again, so don't do that. Instead, cut across the room and go to the maintenance tunnel. There's some power armor if you're so inclined to take that. And here's Mike. If you give Mike the source code, you'll have to kill the mercenaries, or the mercenaries will help you kill Mike, or you can try to talk them down. We can now turn this quest into Bobby and get our reward for it. It doesn't matter if we do that or not. All that matters is that we have a copy of the source code. We'll bring back the Watts source code, punch it in the computer, modify AI, upload the source code. There we go, full functionality. Enable mainframe access. Ah, we still have insufficient power. There is yet another quest we need to do by talking to the Overseer, who will ask you to upgrade his reactor. He wants you to recover the power module. And that can be found at vault Resident Property Storage, so that's where we're headed. Power module is in this room, so use the terminal. Overseer's password is Oversight. And now we have access to the power module. And now we'll return, and instead of taking a left down the hallway to Workshop Willies, we'll take a right at the reactor. The Overseer gave us access to the reactor. And we'll need to put the power source in the backside of the machine with the coolant cap. It is right here, Vault 4 Power Module, not listed in alphabetical order, just right here at the top. And then we head back to the front end and activate it with a terminal. And we are good to go. And now we should be able to access that terminal completely. Modify the AI. Enable mainframe access. Access enabled. Access button is located in the overseer's quarters. So now we have to access the overseer's quarters. Here in the overseer's room, there is the locked door. Yeah, and uh, there's uh, no key. And the overseer will not give you a key. You cannot pickpocket a key off him. There is no key in his inventory. Uh, so we will have to find a different way in. The way to get a copy of the overseer's key is easily apparent if you've done the optional quest for this weirdo over here. Hey, you! This guy wants you to unlock a door in the vault, but he doesn't have access to it, needs a key. So you can ask the Overseer about that. Hey, can I get access to that locked room? Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? All I can tell you is that when residents get locked out of their rooms, they can get copies made at Workshop Willie's Workshop. 
And indeed, if you return to Workshop Willie's, he has a key press with instructions on how to make a key. Take the key putty, put it into the door lock, and bring the putty imprint back to the workshop. There's some putty around the workshop. There's a bit right there, some in the toolbox. I think you just need one piece. This is the locked door that the crazy man wants access to. Key putty removed. Key print added. So now we have a key print for that door. If you return to the key press, you can use that putty to make a key to access that room. Open the door. Uh, talk to this guy and complete the quest. And with that quest complete, hopefully now we can grab the putty. Bring the putty over here. Touch the door. Overseer's door key template added. And try to make the key. And it works this time. Okay. Overseer's room key added. So use the key here. And here we are in the overseer's room. It's very clean, very pristine. And there's the safe, already unlocked. Open it up. The overseer's button. Press it. And there's the secret sliding door. Use the terminal to unlock the door. And all of the secrets will be here on the AI control terminal. So yes, that is the very, very, very convoluted way to access the secret of Vault 4. If you've had a lot of trouble doing it, because of various bugs or because of how obscure it is. Can't say I blame you. Hopefully this video helped. So thank you all and have a great day.